and I'm here. So I'm going to wait and see who else comes up in here for a minute. I'm going to give you guys a minute. And then I'm going to get started. That's what we're going to do today. Oh. Are you tired? I, am. I don't know. I am tired. Me too. I don't know. I don't feel that great. Yeah. I went to work most of all last week. And I'm just... Uh, whew. <laughs> I'm not as I'm exhausted mostly, so yes, yeah, work and whatever else is all it's all a lot. It's those phone calls. It's ah. Funny. Yeah, I wrote it. You voted early? Yep, I voted when early. Did you vote? Last Saturday, when soon as it opened. Why didn't you tell me? I don't know, where were you? I just, why didn't you go vote early? I knew I, that it was to be impossible nearly for me to vote on, you yeah, know, election not, day. Are you working on election day? Uh, yeah, I have to be over there. How late voting goes today? Uh, like five or something. They, somebody already called me. Hi, everybody. I see there's a few people here, and we are talking about voting. Yes, I did early vote. I got mine done. Your brother wants me to date him. And you guys need to go and vote. I meant to go this morning, but I was tired. Well, there you go. There, there, you could have voted this morning. Hi, everybody. Happy Halloween. And as of whatever, to 3.30-ish, no trick-or-treaters. None of them showed up. So I bought candy. And I'm thinking this, I didn't buy the candy I usually buy, but I bought enough candy. Um, but there's no trick-or-treaters and the young ones usually come by now So maybe the older ones might show up somewhere or maybe when it gets dark. They might show up. I don't know But usually on Halloween, I don't cook too much. I make like fish <laughs> I fry some fish up and that's exactly what I'm gonna do to get today whether they come or not That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take you first and also I'm gonna make some cornbread so I'm making fish I got string beans and corn. Um, I got, you know, whitings. And I got, um, I made scallop potatoes yesterday. Creamy, cheesy scallop potatoes yesterday. So, I put them back in the oven. And I got the oven on today. Oof. I had the oven on all day yesterday. All day. It was cold yesterday, so that was okay. <laughs> I got hot. <laughs> I got hot. But I had the oven on for all day yesterday because I did... I did two videos and one and one I just made some apple crisp for you know which I also have over there so we need ice cream and we'll be fine <laughs> but man it was hot to me so you look at me I got my short sleeves back on because I can't take the heat I can't take it <laughs> I don't like it I can't take it but whoever's out there say hello let me know you're there I know there's a few people there let me know you're there say hi so I can know who, who's who's hanging out with me today? I see seven people out there. Yes. Oh, yesterday I made stuffed squash. Squ stuffed squash. Acorn squash. And the stuffing was delicious in it. You know. What did you think, Sharita? Yeah, hey, Demetrius. Good. How you doing? It was good, but not what you expected, huh? Correct. Well, it, but it was still good. So. What kind of meat was that? It was uh, pork. It was it was uh, sausage. Was it? Yeah. I didn't taste sausage. Yeah, it was sausage. I didn't get the hot one. Hi, hi, Duane. How are you? How? <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Thank you for saying hello. Let me know you're there. Well, I'm going to make some cornbread before I even start this whole this whole fish thing. And before I'm mean, let me let me take you down because I want to show you. You see this thing right here? This is a new contraption that I got from QVC. This thing right here it's some kind of a skillet and i had it for months already and i didn't decide to use it but i think i'm gonna try to fry something in it and see how that works so you and me both we all gonna try this thing you can use it to slow cook or um fry things like your hamburgers you can do basically anything you want anything a skillet i think can do you can do in here so that's what this thing is for or a dutch oven or whatever you want to call it but today I'm going to fry me up some fish up in here and see how that works. 
And I usually don't fry fish like that, but I'm gonna do it today because it's Halloween and I fry fish on Halloween. So can't wait for your Thanksgiving meal prep. Yeah, I'm still thinking of that. <laughs> Duanna, I'm still thinking about that too, <laughs> what I'm gonna do. I gotta get started because I know for one thing, I am not making too many of the big... Uh, Thanksgiving's in like three weeks. You I know, know, I know. I'm getting ready. I'm ready. I'm getting ready. I got to also go through my pantry and see what I already have and what I need and all that kind of stuff. But I do know that I'm not making the like 20, 20 sweet potato pies. Hey, Ruby, how you doing? It's nice that you came through. Thank you. Thank you. So, I mean, I, I think I'm going to make many sweet potato pies. Because, you know, we don't, nobody eats that much of them like we used to. So I'm going to make them little mini ones. I, but I have a plan on doing that. I'm going to show you guys. I think definitely there will be a video of how I do that. But I'm actually probably going to make my own crust on this one. But, you know, but last year I made my own crust and it was real good. I forgot how good your own stuff is. <laughs> so I may have to do that because, because of, of the way I have to uh, uh, cut them out. So, but I'm going to do that. That's what, that's the plan. So we'll have many sweet potato pies, and it may be a little quicker for me. We shall see. We shall see. I'm taking it over to the, pies. To the, the bowl first. The bowl's going over there first because I want to get this in the oven. So here I am uh, doing, I make sweet potato tart every year. That's what it, basically what I'm going to do, the little, the little ones. I'm going to make the... Um, but I'm going to make, you know, I don't, because we don't need like a big, a few, like I used to make 20 pies and it killed me. And I, I, I'm i not going to do that when I really don't think I need so many. So I'm going to make the little tarts basically or the mini pies. That's what I'm going to do. So you'll see how I do those. That's exciting. Yeah. So those that's going to be one thing for sure I'm going to do. Are you going to make apple, little apple pies too or just? Uh, listen, <laughs> rolling out that dough is no joke, man. I don't want to be... I can help you roll out the dough. Oh, if you... Are you really going to help me? Well, you know, my availability is only going to be done. Yeah. Well, but let's get started because the, what is it, though? The 11th is... Uh, the 11th is a Thursday, 12, 13. Oh, well, I'm not off on the bed. Um, we can start it though. Yeah, we could have, actually. Because we can get... Yeah, we can get them done and they can be frozen. So I'm making my good old Jiffy again. Two boxes, and this is if anyone. Really, I make this so often on 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 this on this show, but if this goes with um fish, goes <laughs> a lot of things. Go, you know, if you go with fish, man. So cornbread goes with fish, and I'm gonna do the cornbread and get it in the oven. I got it in my regular oven. I'm using the regular oven lately. I'm not even using the only thing. The gadget I'm using today is that thing. But I got the regular What's oven the on. What's the name of this gadget again? It's a skillet by, uh, who are these people called? This skillet is by, uh, what was it? I thought the name was on here. It's by Temptations from QVC. So it's a, it's electric skillet by Temptations from QVC. So two boxes of Jiffy. Uh, hey, Cynthia, how you doing? So two boxes of Jiffy, and I need a fork. I always need a fork with this. And I'm gonna need some sugar. Okay, where my sugar? Here my sugar. It's and a little warmer today than it did. Yeah, recently. it is warmer than it was yesterday. This morning? You said this morning? Than it did recently. Oh. <laughs> Tiffany, hey Tiff, how you doing? It was freezing. Yeah, it was, but it is a little warmer. So, and I can tell you when it's warmer. Because I had the heat on earlier. Remember what, Friday I had it on? When no, it was Wednesday or Thursday. Thursday? I didn't feel good. I, I, I honestly didn't feel good. I, ever since, like, about Wednesday, I just didn't feel well. But this is two. Let's do, like, three. Maybe four. It's going to be sweet. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Tiffany. So I got like four tablespoons of sugar. Of course, this is a sweet one. So I got four tablespoons of, a tote of sugar. Now I propose this question, guys, because I started thinking about it. 
anybody ever, I mean, I'm, I'm sure we all have, asked or, or thought about what would your dream home be, you know, and, and why, why, and what are the things you'd put in your home if you had, if you can get your dream home. I just asked Perry that question this morning, and he kind of likes the house we, we're looking at getting, so, but Sharita, what would your dream home be? I'm serious. I'm dead serious. She, she's looking at me like, what? <laughs> no, seriously. And why did you come up with whatever it is you're going to answer me? It's like, what What would it be? I would definitely need mm -hmm. an in-home dedicated gym area. Like, gym? Which has like mirrors and like a proper gym equipment, not like makeshift stuff you buy from Walmart, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, I would like a theater <laughs> See, where I can really watch some television the way I want to. Really? Yeah. A theater. Okay. You're saying my dream no, home, No, no, right? I'm asking you. I'm asking your dream home. That's exactly what I'm saying. I would definitely want my own walk-in closet that has nothing to do with my husband. <laughs> Poor Daryl. I like the idea of the houses that have his and her bathrooms. Like, they could be together, but he has his own bathroom and I have my own bathroom. So you mean your own one, toilet? Yeah, but we're in one. Uh, so each one should have a, their bedroom own bedroom suite. Yeah. Okay, we need an extra toilet. We need an extra toilet in the bedroom suite. Yes. I, mean, I would like that. What about an extra shower? I mean, no, the shower and bath are separate, so you can figure that out. Like, Daryl's never gonna take a bath. Oh, so you so you wanna you want a bath you want a shower and you want a, a bath. How you how can I open this? What's going on? Okay. There we go. So you want a shower by yourself and a tub by yourself. Yes. But a, a deep one like that you could really fully if you wanted to possibly drown in. A deep a deep deep one. Yes. Okay. And what else what else? Um I would like a pool although I don't swim. Who's got, do you want someone to clean your house too? Yes, I would have a housekeeper. And they can have their quarters because they can live with us. They can cook and also clean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, you, so, so you don't want to, so you're not going to be cooking? I mean, I'd like a nice kitchen, but I would also have help in a house like that I would want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about the living room and the dining room? I mean, I would like it to have enough space for entertaining, for like book club game nights, dinner parties type things. So you intend to have parties and stuff like that? Yes. Okay. But you're not cooking. You're just going to have people or cook for call you. Call caterers. Or caterers. So you just would like to party. And I have the money for the house that I want. I have the money for a caterer. Okay. <laughs> Is it is the it's house in New York? Staff. It could be. It could be. It could still be in New York. Yeah. It would. If it were in New York, it would be by the beach. A house by the beach with all this stuff. Not Rockaway Beach, like Long Beach, probably Oceanside. Maybe even where Patty lives in Bayville. It looks very nice over there. Yeah, you have not really seen other places that really look nice. This is um, a place that we've been to, that we see. I like New York. I want to be able to go into the city and do the things I like. See that, you know, that is a, uh, that is a, a younger person's point of view. <laughs> yeah. And ultimately, honestly, if I had that kind of house, I would also probably have a very nice, like Manhattan apartment. Full service. And you would be, if you had that kind of cash, I suppose you wouldn't be a speech pathologist, really. I mean, I would volunteer my time. That you would volunteer your time? To literacy. But I don't know that means doing the everyday teaching of people. Like, I doubt that highly. And they come up with an app or a product that would help more people than I could ever individually. So now that you are back to work, though, 
And of course, you have to get up every day. You think that's a, what would you do if you didn't have to go to work? Would you be getting up every day? Like, what would you do? Oh, also, back to the house. I don't like it to have, like, look at her. <laughs> some outdoor space, you know, aside from the pool. Like, I would like it to have, like, I don't know, swings and stuff. Why? You, you have no kids. Why you want to I would, I would definitely adopt some children. Oh, you would definitely adopt kids. Okay. Um, I would so how many bedrooms do you want? You hear us talking, guys? You hear us? I need some, I need some feedback I from you all. I mean, like, five. Five bedrooms? Yes. And, and how many bedrooms? Five bedrooms? At least. Or six, maybe? Maybe six. Possibly seven. So you're in a mini mansion in New York, huh? Yes. I've seen them. I know where they are. Um, a totally updated situation. This is going in the regular oven today. And then I may want like a basketball or tennis court. Something fun, you know, mm -hmm. for entertaining in the summer. Oh, and a full outdoor kitchen. A full outdoor kitchen. Yes. And who's gonna cook this outdoor stuff? Again, again. Boy, <laughs> boy, I tell you. <laughs> I'll have enough bedrooms and bathrooms for guests to feel happy to come over and cook. To come over and cook. Oh, okay. Sharina wants to party. That's what it sounds like. This, that's, that's what it sounds like. We had a, a, a meeting um, the other day, uh, a Zoom meeting, and the executive director asked, what was your extracurricular activity, basically, in uh, high school? So, I, of course, did not answer because I didn't really have an extra an extracurricular activity in high school. So, really? yeah, I didn't. Does that, make me, does that make me awful? How about you guys? What was your extracurricular activity I in mean, high school? You like, know, I did things all the time. Well, that's because you, you had your mom... And your dad helping you get things done. But I didn't grow up in that era. I mean, I was president of the African American Club, which I don't even think it's called that anymore. Um, and then I was on the principal's advisory committee for minority concerns. That was kind of a joke. But <laughs> and then I was in leadership and I worked. Yes, you, I worked. You know. um, Definitely, I were always worked. I, well, I don't. I, I guess we call the that little literary magazine sometimes. Do, do we call that extracurricular activity because you work? I mean, it could be. Well, that's the only extracurricular activity, and I didn't. Call it. I had nothing to do with school. Yes, I did. Well, in twelfth grade, I I I um volunteered or I did. I went to work at number two school because they were paying me. So it was a little a program that came out of that. And at lunchtime, I was the, uh, I was the what, monitor or whatever they called it at the time. And, and I got paid. So I didn't volunteer anything unless I got paid. <laughs> that, that was me, that was me. So guys, what, what do you think about our conversation? I'd like to know if you had a dream house, what would you put in it? Or, and why? What, what, what would you, if it was a dream? Because I always talk, hear people talk about their dream house. And I'm like, what does that mean exactly? I feel like the <laughs> you concept know. that you have of it not having a few billion stairs. Yeah, I, you know, I think, I think when you think of a dream house, I think it's where you are in your life at the time. Because Zara I, says we can have a party house, but we don't have to have a real house. Because he doesn't want people always at our party house. That's see, what he said. See that you see, I mean there's a whole there's a whole concept. Hey Pat, how you doing? Hey Rosebud, happy Halloween. So, uh what did she say? She missed packing me on the top. But that's a you know, that's a question. Like what will you really want in your dream house? Because if we have a house built now, we have we got it all has it could have all kinds She's of stuff. To move. Oh girl, go ahead. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I hope to be soon behind you. <laughs> I hope to be soon. Congratulations. You know, but I, I, I do wonder, like, what 
do you want in your house? What do you, what's the dream thing you want in your house? Now, let me tell you, this house has two bathrooms, okay? One bathroom downstairs and one bathroom upstairs. Nah. And not enough bathrooms, no. Absolutely not enough bathrooms. And I say that from the, from the older point of view because I grew up in a house that also had two bathrooms, you know? But it must have had, we must have had 25 people in that house. So two bathrooms is not enough. And I guess it doesn't, remember? You think about it. Yes, it must have been 25 people with all the kids. I remember the time when... <laughs> the conversations we come up with. I just remember the time that I don't know, it was like three or four. And I don't know why I did it, but like I locked the downstairs bathroom door and from the inside and then closed it on the outside so that nobody could get in. And I knew it was locked. Like, wow. Hey, Joy. Like, it's okay. <laughs> people were like, what is going on in the bathroom? And then I feel like someone forced me into through the bathroom window to unlock it. Well, but when you, but, what I did? well, you did it. So yeah, if you, you were the only one that could probably go through the bathroom window back then, you know, because, <laughs> Hey, you did it. They couldn't jimmy it with a, with a, a knife. Huh? I don't know. It wasn't working. Wow. It was for a little, it was a little bit before people were like, what is going on? Yeah. Well, when you have, when you have, yeah. Cause you, which, which person's in the bathroom? Because we had a lot of people in the house. I mean, with two bathrooms. That was, yeah, yo, that was, that was kind of a, a lot, you know. I think I ended up having Nah, I'm not packed yet, house. Rosebud. I'm going to wait house. until I, until they, until they start digging and then I'll start throwing, you know, really getting stuff done. But if I see something I don't need, I'm, you know, letting it go. Or I'm deciding what I'm going to keep here, what I'm going to keep or not keep. I'm, uh, the whole brain is just starting to roll right now. That's what's really happening with me. But... But, but I'm just wondering, like, what would you want in your house? Like, I definitely want a bathroom that only. Hey, Linda. I don't want them going in my bathroom. Yeah. Well. Well, I think that I I, I wasn't such. It's not. It, I wasn't totally upset that there is like there was only two bathrooms like in in my parents' house. I wasn't upset about that. No, yeah. I wasn't even upset about it here. You know. It wasn't so bad here when yeah. it was just like the three of us. Yeah, because we it uh. What I'm cooking today, I'm frying some whitings, and I'm making some cornbread, and uh, we have one bit. Well, how do you th how do you like that, Tiffany? I got cornbread, and I got um, I'm warming I up the. You, uh, have more than one bathroom, sir. you know, it's important. I mean, me and Sharita, Sharita's been around me. She can go to the bathroom when I'm in the bathroom. We do that. We've been doing that since she was knee high to a grasshopper. There she was. So that's okay with me. Uh, her father didn't necessarily like that. He, and he kind of wanted to be in the bathroom himself, but he kind of went in quick and he, it, it, the timing was okay, I guess. Uh, Perry doesn't like anybody in the bathroom with him. He only wants to be there by himself. His, his timing is so off, you know, so, you know, when your time is off, you know, it, it's, it's hard to go. It's hard to do that. Now, as we got older, it's like, I got to pee every 15 minutes. Like I got to go to the bathroom. I gotta pee. <laughs> so my bladder is not as good as it used to be, and I'm drinking a lot of water, and I need to go to the bathroom. So I need, I can't just, I can't stay, just wanted to say hello. Okay, Linda, thank you for coming. I appreciate you for being here. You could always watch the repeats. I appreciate that. But thank you for coming. Happy Halloween, if you're celebrating that. Hi, happy Halloween. Anyway, yeah, so, so for me, it was, you know, I need an, uh, he needs a bathroom. I need a bathroom. That's really what all I need. Um, if it was my dream house, what would I have? Uh, here you go, Linda. If it was my dream house, we both need our bathrooms. And you, and we need one, at least one bathroom for, for visitors. You know, if, you, if they're gonna spend the night, you know, they need a, their own kind of space. That would be, that's an ideal thing. You know, and I need at least a half bath when people want to just come in. They got to go to the bathroom. Just use the half bath and go about your business. But how many toilets we talk about cleaning here? Oh. <laughs> you know, because I, ain't, I, you know, now I have to get what I kind of need or what I kind of want, you know, 
Because you can't ever get everything you want. So you gotta gotta get what you need and what you want. And what we need, me and Perry, is a, a two two bathrooms. He, we gotta have the master bathroom, but he, you know, there'll be another bathroom that he could use. And then he needs a bathroom near his studio because he's always in there and he needs to go when he needs to go. Because like I said, we just don't. We gotta go to the bathroom. We can't be. It's, it's just, we can't do what we used to do. So we need bathrooms. So I was thinking about stuff like that, you know. But other things, like my kitchen too, I think about my kitchen. And before I get back to this conversation, let me get ready, let me get finished with uh, what I'm gonna show you guys. <laughs> I'm taking you back down to the um to this this new this new pot that I got. Okay, this is a skillet thing, they say. And I'm gonna turn it on. I need this on you need four bathrooms. <laughs> That, yeah, four bathroom, four toilets is not bad. Even in a half bath, you know, four toilets is not is on the good side right there, kind of. Thing. When you only grew up with one, and then you yo, you go like, you need more than one. I'm turning this thing on, to, uh, hmm, I guess it's on. Yes, it on. It's on. I'm turning it on to medium. Cause they say you can cook. Uh, um, whitings in medium. I'm uh, not whitings. You can just cook shrimps in medium. So I'm going to turn this on and let this thing get hot. This is the very first time I'm using it. And I want this oil to get at least 375. I want it at that hot, at that level. But since the card says if you cook frying fish, you fry it at around three. Um, you fry it on medium. So this thing has medium. Let me see if I can get that. You even closer to that. Uh, right here. Uh, let me pinch it a little bit. Oh, I can't. Let me pinch it. And let me move it one way or the other. I can't. I can't do it. Can't do it. Yeah, here we go. There you go. This is the light right here. It's on and it's on medium. And this is getting hot. I don't know how fast it's going to get hot, but it's getting hot. And I want to check the temperature before I actually do the fish. So. Here's my fish. This is my whitings. I already seasoned them. I got three pounds of them. So I know that's big. But I'm gonna pinch it back in, I think. Yeah, here we go. We pinch back in. So this thing is getting hot. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna actually definitely take a temperature. See how hot it gets. And I'm gonna try this thing out. I don't fry fish, but Every blue moon, I guess I will. I found these in the drawer. I was also looking at how to pack things up. Uh, you like it, Rosebud? You know, you can make like a, supposedly you can make a stew in this. You can like do your eggs and bacon in this. You know, you could cook almost everything in this little thing like it was a frying pan. So, and I think, I think it only costs like $29. So it wasn't really, if it was more than that, I wasn't going to buy it. So I got it in QVC, I believe in the summertime or the spring, and I just haven't used it. So I was like, let me unwrap this and give it a go. Especially since I'm, I always do, um, I always do fish. So let me just, let me, let me try this thing. Turn it on. Turn it on. This is beef, but I don't care what it says. I care the temperature of this thing. So I'm at 87 degrees so far, 130, 136 so far, 153 so far, 162 so far. And how much does it have to be? 169, three, 350. So, yeah, it's not, it, we'll, we'll see if I love it. <laughs> but, you know, I gotta see how this, how this is gonna go. Couldn't cost them. Too much. It's 189 right now, 193. So I have the thermometer here. I got the thermometer here. It's telling us how hot it's getting. I'm at 206. So you know I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it get to 350. And let's see how that how that works at that point. So while it's raising up, it's at 220. It'll be at 350 real soon. <laughs> it's gonna get it's gonna be real soon. So meanwhile, in this container, I have some fish fry. I got 
I got a combination of this one, which is the Wondra. This one here is called Wondra, and it doesn't have any salt in it, nothing, no seasoning. And then this one here is a uh, New England, New Orleans style, and I know it got some salt in it. So I mix them together because I don't like too much salt on my stuff. And I put some cornmeal in here too. And so I'm going to, we at 255. I don't know if you're going to get higher than that. Look how big this is. It's huge. I'm going to get it ready. You know what? I'm going to even do, I'm going to shake it up and see how that works. Make sure I keep it real tight. Shake it up. Shake it up. <coughs> Smell of pepper in it, though. I'll tell you that. Shake it up. And actually, I'm going to get get a dish to put it in. Oh boy, that's pepper up in there. It's all in my nose. That pepper's getting in my nose. What, what, what are we on? 285. Okay. And this is medium. It said at medium and it's 285. So that's not bad. 288. I want it nice and hot. Let me do a couple things at one time. You and you and you. Three of them. And if you want to make, you, you can just put your 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 uh, flour or whatever breading in one of these things and shake it up. And that's all you got to do. You don't have to pay a whole bunch of money for stuff. Just shake it up. And that's all. Open it back up. And it's just like it was with Miss White. Hi, Angela. How you doing? We're on 291. And happy Halloween. We ain't getting no trick or treaters. They're not coming. They might. They're not coming. They stopped doing it. What kind of candy did you get? I got some Almond Joy because Perry likes it. I do too. We got, I got some Almond Joy and all the bag of, that I had from um, the bag I had. The from, bag you had didn't have Almond Joy in it? Well, if it did, y'all eat them. I didn't eat them. Well, then Perry ate them. He ate the he ate the almond joy. There were no more almond joys. You know what I like? I like the uh, what's that called? The um, candy corn. The no, I don't like the candy corn. I like the licorice. Twisters, Twizzlers. I like that. Yeah. I like the those. kids hate the Twizzlers. I, I don't have put Twizzlers in them, and they're like Twizzlers. Put them. That's what came in the back. Yeah, I like the Twizzlers. We on three oh one. Not yet, 350. I want 375, it's on 300. It's holding at 300 and it's going down. So, looks like I need to make it higher. I'm gonna make it higher, something in between. Okay, let's see what it does. It's going up again. Oh, so you can, you can actually move um, this thing. This is your mom's favorite and Fifth Avenue. I don't think I've had a Fifth yeah, Avenue. Yeah, I've had Fifth Avenue. What's I, got, I forgot what was in there, but I bet I had them before. I like I like cat um what you those crunchy ones, um a crunch bar. Yeah, but that's what's it called? Nestle's crunch. Nestle's crunch. Yeah, I like Nestle's crunch. Those I like. Yeah. I hate you without that. See, she the ones I like. She don't like. It's a good thing I bought the almond joy. Nah, I'm not gonna have that. Huh? I'm not gonna have that. Why? I'm trying to like not eat candy like that. Well, that's why I, I, I try not that to that buy. Candy. See, they said a uh, goobers. Goobers is one with peanuts in there. Yeah. That's really? Yeah, got peanuts in there. I don't know. These are not my candy. So, my niece Yolanda left. She, she is, left already? She left already. I, she didn't say goodbye. She yeah. called. She told Francis to tell us, tell us goodbye. But uh, yeah, she she left. She, <coughs> excuse Bless me. You. She's on her way to North Carolina. So, Evelyn, if you're there, take care of her. <laughs> and Yolanda, if you're there, you hear me. I'm sorry. When did she good, leave? Good bar. She like she likes good bars, Mister Good Bars. <laughs> that also got that got um nuts in it. 
that thing. I don't remember. That definitely has nuts in it. So now it's on 345. Now it's on 345, 346. Are we doing more? 347. I think I want... they're basic. Like, I like a Reese's. I like a Snickers. Got to turn it. In order to get it up to over 350, you got to have it on high. So. That seems, like, logical. I mean, how high would you think this little electric thing is going to go? Probably not but higher they, than but they, But the card said you can fry shrimp at medium. You can't fry shrimp at medium. So that's not true. So now it's at 364, 366. And this is how you know, just really measure it and see what the temperature is. So for me, I would have just went over like that, maybe put my put some put some a uh, flour in there and see and see what happens. Cause that's because I do not do this. From California to Texas using U-Haul boxes, having them shipped. U-Haul? Mm-hmm. California to Texas? So, it, so you're not using the pods? Are you using the pods? She says she's using U-Haul U-Boxes. Oh, the U-Boxes. And having them shipped. Okay. That's like that's kind of like the pods. But the U-Haul has them. How, how, can you tell me how expensive that is? And like how many rooms you're moving from? Just kind of curious, if you don't mind. How, how much does that, that stuff cost? This is everything has this cost attached to it now. All right, we have 377. So look at that. It is going right in. Making and, a nice sizzle sound. And fish will rise to the top when it's ready. So in it goes. You put, you put the cornbread in the real oven? I put the cornbread in the real oven. I turned the real oven on today. I'm now Miss White. Remember, Miss, do you know Miss White? No. Oh. Anybody who lived in Inwood remembers Miss White. And she would not, she would fry some fish for Richie McIntyre. Uh huh. Says 377. I don't know what that means. That's probably a good uh, yes, it was it was at 377 when I put it in. Yep. And now it has dropped to 336. It has dropped, but when you fry in fish, you need to start at a high temperature. But it seems to go down after you put the um, the fish in. So you don't really want to- It's good that you start higher than 350. Huh? It's good that you start higher than 350. Yeah, you have to, right. That's why, you know, it says to do it at three, uh, 375, between 350 and 375. But I'm doing it at 375. And it won't take long. These don't take long at all. And they're done. So, look at that. Fry, fry, fry. Let's see how this works. That's my thing. I wanted to see how this works. And so why not do it on the day I want to do fish anyway? So there you go. That one's going. It will rise to the top in general when they're done. That's how they usually work. They come right on up when it's really done. And then Miss White would take it off and turn it over like that. I want some with a little hot sauce. Yeah, I hear you, man. I, you know, I could not find um, what's that? The name of that hot sauce? Frank. Frank's. I couldn't find Frank. Where were you at? I went to the store because I, I eat hot sauce, but not a lot. So I could get a big, big jar, a big bottle. It would last me for a long time. And finally, my jar ran out. So I needed some Frank's hot sauce. Couldn't find that stuff in the store for nobody. I couldn't find it, but then when I was in Delaware and we went to, I think, Sam's Club. I think we went to Sam's Club or Costco. I don't remember. But I think it was one of them. I think it was Sam's Club, which I never went to a Sam's Club. But once I went to the Sam's Club, they had them in there, so I got two bottles. And now and that'll last me for years, years and years. But I got to have some hot sauce on this baby boy. <laughs> All you need is some hot sauce. That's right. And this, this thing will be perfectly fine. And my father used to say, because Miss White would fry, she used to make um, porgies too. And porgies got a lot of bones in them, but it is a really delicious fish. So my father used to say, fry hard, fry hard. <laughs> he was not, he wasn't playing that. 
So now it went down to $2.92. So it, it, it dropped significantly. So I don't know. It needs to stay on, it needs to kind of stay on, on the 300 level, if you ask me. It needs to stay there. And or at least it needs to stay at the 350. Uh, well, for what I paid for it, I guess it, it, it'll, it'll do, but it, it you're not in yeah. See, I, I, I was gonna buy a fryer too, a fish fryer, you know, or whatever I want to actually fry, but the, the temperature needs to stay where it needs to be. And I'm not, I needed to, I needed to see this so you guys can see it with me. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going for that one. I'm not sure about that. And I don't like it yet. It doesn't look, it doesn't look brown enough for me. We have 297. Oh, we got trick-or-treaters. Really? Yes. We, I thought they weren't coming. We'll be right there. We got some trick-or-treaters. <laughs> Sweetie, you got the candy? Um, no, hold hold on one second. Hold on one sec. Okay. 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 So we got a whole nother job here. We gotta give out candy. You're the first, you're the first trick-or-treaters. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Nobody else is coming out. Well, no, no, they're not really early, Rose, but they usually start around two o'clock. <laughs> I thought they weren't coming, but they came. Good for them. It's nice to do trick-or-treating. It's nice to do Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> and I have been your student. Well, you'll see tomorrow. <laughs> I turn them over a little bit and let them get like I want them. I want them nice and brown. I gave them a couple of pieces. Yeah, they can have. Okay. They can have. What is the bottom bomb, you know? Yeah, they can have. So the chip is going back up again, which is good. I guess that means it's getting cooked. Cause it's going back up. So we'll see who else is coming over here. At least they had costumes on. Some of them come over here, they don't have costumes. No, they all have costumes on, but I really do feel like they seem very like they ninth were ninth graders or something. They were ninth graders. graders. I don't know. They look old. Well, they ain't scared to go out. I guess they wouldn't really want to try. What Rose must say? <laughs> I guess they really want to come out and do something. You know, it's this this um, pandemic got to be hard for 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 kids of the teenage, you know, or anybody over probably about eight. They probably like really are sick of. They want to be with their friends and they want to do th stuff we all used to do. So, I mean, I feel for them. I understand. I think this is especially this one. This one seems to. This one here seems to be done. Come on out, fish, come on out. It ain't popping, you know. It's really not popping, that's a good thing. You go out, there we go. How about you, come over here. Come on over. This won't take long at all. Not at all. Yeah, this one's done too. Come on, come on out. There we go. Here's another one. What Rose was say? And here's another. Smells good, I boy. I just looked out the window and I see them. <laughs> Please have a costume. Some will. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least they came out. At least they're coming out. Because I was like, I don't know if you guys are coming. And I ain't buying so much candy. Boy, I used to buy a whole bunch of candy for them. Because my mother, she loved Halloween. 
You know, she I and she took she took all of us out. And we had a good she took the whole neighborhood out. <laughs> my mother had a real good time with it. And you know, I, I can't anything my mother did, I try to do. <laughs> for people and for kids, anything. Look at that. Look at how it bubbled that. It's freezing to me. I feel like turning on the heat. Yeah. I feel like a little chilly too. Not here, Rose. Not here, Rosebud. I do not agree with her. Not here, Rosebud. Oh my God. I got my short sleeves on. It's ridiculous. You're I turned hot, on. I turned on the air in, in my bedroom because I needed it. It was like stuffy, but yeah. it wasn't like, I don't know. As I sit here, I feel chilly. You feel chilly? I do. No way. Yes, yes. I can't believe that. What's going on with you? Yeah. You have no blood. I, I am anemic. So well, that must be that it, because I am not, and by no stretch of imagination. Can I have one of these while it's hot? Yes, you can have one. Of, and I love my fish while it's hot, too. I love it. I, that and some hot sauce. Like, like the gentleman said, you got to have the hot sauce. I don't, you didn't say if you had hot sauce. I oh, I have hot sauce. Yeah, you got hot sauce. I bought you hot sauce. I got great hot sauce. Okay, it's kind of hot sauce. But you have a plate in there. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Uh, this is how it works. Hey, can I have a plate? Can I have a plate? It smells good. This is, this is very fresh food. Fresh, fresh fish. Where did you get it from? Awesome. Um, Foodtown. Um, Foodtown. Foodtown has the best fish, man. I mean, they have the best whining. Well, they had the best whining. I will say that. They do have the best whining. I miss, I miss, um, best market. I miss them tremendously. I miss them tremendously. So, One of them was the character from Scream. What? You have Scream, the movie? Uh, no. You have a Scream? No, I'm glad you know where they, where they come from. I don't know. I just seen they had it. They did have their, their costume on. So Joyce said, did you see the cute, that QVC had, QVC had the Ninja Foodies? Yes. On. The grill. Yeah, that she finally ordered it. Yeah, you, you're getting the same one that I have. I already have. That's not the newest one. But yes, I saw that. That's the same one I got right now. And I love it. And you're going to love it. I'm telling you. I love mine. But I'm sure that's going to need your cooking tips to use that. Okay. I will, I will show you. I'm going to probably do more stuff than that. I bought some pork chops the other day, which I probably I'm going to cook during the week when I'm home. So, every day I'm home. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 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 Huh? Mr. Miguel likes pork chops. Um, he didn't say he don't like it. I think he does. I, I can put them in there, I thought. Oh, yeah, I do like pork chops. Yeah, I can put them in there. Yeah, I thought he did. 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 Yeah, I thought he <laughs> so we need to take care of the chickens. They're coming. They're coming. <laughs> you got little ones this time. You got smaller ones. How you, I'm good. How you doing? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, Judy. Are you are you taking are you taking your son out today, Judy? Yeah, they're nice. They're coming. They're coming. I think I know that dude. Yeah, uh I think he goes with Tanya. Does he? Yeah, I think so. That's not how I am. Oh, I know, I know who he, he's um yeah. Actually he helped your father take put the refrigerator in when he was younger. Back in the day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, that's when you, that's how you, well, you know, that was 20 something years ago. <laughs> and now he's with Tanya, you think? Yeah. Interesting. I think he was with Tanya. I don't know that. I think so. 
Here comes another one. Actually, here comes here come Evelyn and the kids. Oh, we got more trick or treaters. We got more. What is your costume? Your sorority We got little ones. We got our neighbors coming. Uh, trick or treat is start at 5.30 to 7. Oh, really? Well, they they start earlier over here. They start earlier. Hey, Abby. Wow. Bring, bring her up. Bring her up. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing my um, Sunday, but she, if you want her to on, she can come in. <laughs> We got some little ones coming. We got some little ones here. Thank you. Hey. Hi. How are you? Good. Hello, How are you? Miss. How you doing? Oh, you're filming. Yes. You want to fly? Yes. Nice. You want to be on wow. live? You have a YouTube channel? Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, yes. Nice. I'm going to turn the, the camera around. Let's see. I'm going to turn the camera around. There she go. Look, what cousin it? Yep. Wow, look at that. <laughs> That's cute. Say thank you. See, thank th you. these these are we love the kids. And they said they love the kids. <laughs> nice. Hey young lady. Mm -hmm. She's a year old now, right? Yes, yeah, so oh, in October, right? No, she turned the year in Oh in July, July right. Yes. She's with her. Yes. Yeah, July fifth. She read the birthday. That's oh, her birthday. Really? Yeah, yep. birthday July fifth? Yeah, so was hers. Oh, uh oh, nice. there we go. Nice. There we go. Nice. Wow. <laughs> Carla said thank you. Say thank you. Uh, we'll see you soon. Okay. <laughs> yes, say thank you, Carla. Say thank you. Bye bye. 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 En enjoy your trick or treating. We're <laughs> just looking at y'all like y'all. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. see you later. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, wasn't she, isn't she adorable? Absolutely she is adorable. so cute. She is so cute. Hold on, let me close. I'm, this is too much. I'm mm -hmm. um, pinched up too much here. Come on, stop. Cute. And the basket, I mean, or the whatever. Or wow. Pepper. I don't know why. This is too big. Yeah, she is too cute, right? <laughs> she is too cute. The, uh, the, uh, the, uh, their grandson was there too? No, I just saw a little girl. Ah, look at that. This was, you know, I love, I love when the kids come out. This is supposed to be fun for them. You gotta buy candy. What are you, you gotta buy candy for them. You can't like put the no candy sign out. You know, people do that. But I kind of figured my neighbors would come. So, and that is my neighbor. I kind of figured they'd show up. So, good. They always show up to the neighbors. Oh, we come. Maybe not everybody else, but the neighbors kind of show up. So I'm glad. I'm happy. I'm happy. This is about them. It's about the kids. So I, I like that. And this is amazing. You like the fish? Yeah. Uh-oh. Sarita says the fish is amazing. This is my water, right? Huh? This is my water. I guess it is, yeah. She said the fish is amazing. Okay, see, when I'm, this is what I'm wondering. This is what I'm seeing here. As the temperature goes down, as the temperature goes down, it's cooking, but when it starts to go back up, it should be just about done. That's kind of kind of what I'm noticing here. I'm taking another piece. How many pieces did you buy? Well, I don't know. Several. They were big pieces, too. So, at least 13. I only had three pieces. At least like 13 pieces or so. And then I was walking down some creek with Daryl. And it's a nap. And got up just in time for the yeah. This is good. And the trick or treaters. Okay. And behind them, all of our shows. Anything good happening? Uh, um, Sisters is a little slow. Except Cameron's a little crazy. He's always been crazy. He's a little bonkers here. Cameron's like, 
Now, now she wants. Now she wants. Yeah. Now she wants the guy. Now she wants him. What's his face back? What's his name? Because he has money. Yeah. It's time to go there. Yeah. Now she wants him back. Before she couldn't stand him. Now she wants him back. Come on now. Leave the man alone. If you don't love someone when they're when they're broke, you don't really love them. That's right. If you don't. So how's that? If you don't love somebody when they broke, then I guess you really don't love them. How's that? You can love them when they're rich, but if you love them when they're broke, you really love them. <laughs> what do you think about that? <laughs> what do you think about that? Kind of, that's true. If you love them, you love them, no matter what they are. But this one, no, he wasn't good enough for her. He wasn't good enough. Now I want to take this out. What are the sides, Ricky? Um, I got some string beans. I got some... Uh, what's that called? I got some, I'm looking out here and see if another trick or treater. I have some string beans. I got, uh, cornbread. I got, um, what's that called? I made some scalloped potatoes yesterday. We're going to, we're going to have them. Scratch. Yeah, I made scalloped potatoes from scratch and there's a video coming for it. So I, I have cheesy. that. Yes. Cheesy scalloped potatoes. And they are in the oven right now. I mean, they were cooked. They cooked yesterday, but I'm warming them up in the oven. That's why I turned the other one because it's too much. Um, Joy wants to know: Are you happy with the pot? She saw them offer it, but wasn't sure about buying it. Um, I am not sure yet. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. But for the price, I figured it was it was worth it. So the price. This piece of fish that you just got. Huh? That last piece is ginormous. Yeah, it's a big. Yeah, they gave big old pieces. I can tell you that this is done. I don't even have to check. This is done. The cornbread is done. Well, I'll check it, but it's done. I can see. Looks done. I can see it's done. And the, hold on. And the, uh, the salad potatoes are done too. They're just boiling, bubbling up in there. And I made apple, I made an apple uh, crumble, an uh, apple crisp again. What's it called? Apple crisp. I made that again too. So I have that from yesterday. I cooked my butt off yesterday. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know how much cooking I'm doing today. I done cooked yesterday. So that's quite enough. And that's okay. that's Here's my stick. Here's my stick. Get my stick out of here. Okay. I'll take care of that later. I'm going to check. I'm going to test my my cornbread, which I knew it was done. It is done. The cornbread is done. I'll put that in the back of the. I think her brother was Beetlejuice. Oh, that's who. That's who he was. I think so. That's not her brother. That must have been her cousin. Doesn't her brother the guy who always parks over here? Who? The guy who always parked over here. That's not the brother. Oh, you're talking about the you're talking about the neighbors. Yeah. Sisters. Okay. I thought you were talking about the kid, the baby. The baby don't got a brother or sister. The baby is by herself. The only baby is one I'm blind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> listen to her. Listen to her. It's the only way you should. Well, your cousin, your cousin is born on July 5th, well, too. Well, I mean, he's and a he, baby, so he has, he's almost as good as being an only child. So he, yeah, but he had to share his time with you. Um, well, not really. Why? We, we lived in different circles. Okay. Really? Only now that we're adults that we, like, you know more of the same people. He's five years older than me. He has his own whole life. Yeah, you do have your own full life, other life when you're five years older than somebody. I'm five years older than Jackie. And I really have a different, had a different life than her. We, we're together, a bit more together now, but when we were kids, you know, Cheryl, me and Cheryl was hanging out. And <laughs> Cynthia, but mostly me and Cheryl was doing our hanging. Okay, let's go. I think I should wait until it went, the temperature went back up again. That was delicious. Sharita liked it. Sharita said it was delicious. And that's good. I'm not going to eat another piece until we actually have fried meat. Yeah. 
Sharita liked the fish. Sharita said, Sharita gives it her thumbs up. So that's good. That's good. It came out, Chaco it came out nice and says, hi. Hi, how you doing? Is that my auntie? Is that what yes, you call yourself? I think, I think that's I like that. <laughs> hey, Sajada. <Sujeda. laughs> Very cute. So he's frying fish over here, Sajada. So I had a conversation with my brother last week, and we were talking about frying fish because, because, yeah, th thank you, Tiffany. We was talking about frying fish, and he said he doesn't fry fish in the house. He, they take it outside, and they fry it on the, um, on a deck or something like that. Cause Which because it stinks, up the house. Cause it stinks up, you know, yeah. A frying anything would do that. So I think that this would be a good deal to have for something like that. If you want to fry some fish outside, you know, you just take this little thing outside and fry it, and then and kind of almost leave it out there, you know. So that's not, I think that's that's a good thing. That's a good use of this thing, and it really cost about twenty five dollars maybe. And if you were having, let's say, like a barbecue. Yeah, right. If you're having a barbecue and we frying up fish. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, uh, Sajada. It, it looks, yeah, it, it looks like, I think that would be a good, a good use of this tool. Cause you know, every tool guy does have a use and I think that would be good. And then you're not stinking up the whole house, you so, know, and turning on the exhaust and all that. I fry fish in my outdoor and I love kitchen. the fishies. And you love the fishy smell? <laughs> well, you know what? That means <laughs> that's good. I don't really mind the fishy smell either. Really, I don't mind it. I just don't want it. I don't want it in my clothes, and I don't want it to uh, last too long. I don't you want know. It in my hair. Oh my god, you know. Yeah, and it gets in your hair. When I used to do home care, and it was mm -hmm. always like dinner time for people, like, Yo, I would uh, come home reeking of like fried, fried food. Fried food. Yeah, yeah. And I don't. I don't. Whatever. I don't want too much fried food smell in the house. But there's times where you gotta have a little fried food smell in the house, and especially if you want some fish. Some good fish. You got to fry it. So I think this is good for that. So you guys and me and you, all of us, we are actually taking a look at this whole thing together. This, uh, this is my first look at it, and I think we're doing this together. What else can you make in um, You can make a stew in there. Uh, fish is my favorite meat. I, yeah, me too. Me too, Sajeda. I really like fish. I could have that every day, including tuna fish. I could eat it every day. I used to eat that. Yeah, I used to eat it every day. I could eat that every single day. But, um, what did you just ask me before that? I said, what else can you make in there? Said, yeah. Oh, you can make stew in here. If you want to make, if you want to just turn it on and make you some uh, fried eggs and bacon instead of using it. Anything you want to, anything you can do in a pan, you can do in here. I just saw a chicken recipe that you can do. Um, a braised chicken, it said, I think. Or roasted chicken, I think it said. I might do that. I might try that recipe in here on a Sunday, and we'll have that. Because it should be enough for the four of us in this pan. And you know what? And it's enough. It's just like, it's enough to be for when, you know, certain people, you know, a certain amount of people are here. So, you too. <laughs> Yo. Rumor Ms. chocolate. Uh-huh. That way, watch this change in the paint system again. Yeah, but they change it every year this time. Every November, they change everything around and, and come up with the same thing. I don't know why. Why do they do that? Just leave it like it was the first time. And and they encourage you to eat stuff you ain't supposed to eat. Because they, they're making candy bars for you to eat. You shouldn't even have them um, in the first place. So it is a temptation. What is it called? A temptation skillet, I think it's called. Electric skillet mm -hmm. from QVC. Yep. It's a temptation electric skillet. And I think electric skillet. Temptation 12 inch deluxe electric skillet. Here you go. This is what it is. The 12 inch uh, um, Temptations skillet. It got a top on it too. It comes with a top. So you can just, just you know, put it in, set it, and kind of forget it and let it go. You can kind of really get, get some food done, I think. And it, it, it was interesting to me, and especially for the cost, I figured it's worth it. 
I'll try it. I'll try it any day. If I don't like it, I don't like it. But it's cooking up my fish. That's what I know. <laughs> it's doing a good job with the fish. The temperature's down to 272. We want it higher. Temperature got to come back up. I wish the temperature would stay at a consistent number. And it's not doing that. That's a, that I can say for right now, I wish it would. Stay at a consistent number. So I may, have, may find me some other fryer that kind of stays at a consistent number. If I'm going to be frying a whole bunch. I just, if I make fish, I kind of pan fry it. I don't really come out with, with one of these things, but I, I might, I might do that. So your mugs are temptation mugs, okay? Yeah, my mugs are temptation mugs. I like temptation. I got a lot of temptation stuff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, I got, I have a lot of temptation things because I like, I like it. How's your, how's your coffee you making? It's all right. Would you consider this a kitchen tool or a small appliance? It's a small appliance. It's small, definitely a small appliance. It, it's, it, it's helpful, but it's an appliance for sure. Especially, you know, what I'm doing, if I'm okay, doing... Okay, I... No? Is it... This is not it. Wait, you found it? I found a regular, regular slow cooker that they have, which is cute. And then I found the Temptation Classic Deep Skillet. That could be it. It was $29. Yeah. See, I told you it, wasn't, it didn't cost that much. It was $29. It didn't cost much. It's got three out of five stars. So people are okay with it. No yeah. One, they're not in love with it. But I guess for 30 bucks. You yeah, for thirty. Yeah, if you if you need something like that, then you you can do it. If I'm doing YouTube things, maybe you know, and I don't want to go over to the stove, I could do things right here, and you would see how I'm using it. You know, like like today. But generally, I would take you over to my stove, and we 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 get cooking over there. And I and you know, when it's over the fire, you can control the heat much better. So for me, I think, I think, I think. This needs to stay at a more regular temperature. It's going back up. Well, it to, doesn't seem to be even cooking. Yeah. I would say that's a good, that's a good truth. It doesn't seem to be evenly cooking. What is cooking? So they have also a crock pot, apparently. Temptation? Or a slow cooker, right? Crock pot, mm -hmm. brand new. Uh-huh. But it also only has three stars. Like, why only three stars for is it temptation? Mm -hmm. I like temptation dishes. I like dishes that they make. I don't know about their appliances, but I like their dishes. Okay, well, you know those are those people who want everything matchy matchy. So like your slow cooker pot matches your dishes, matches your. I want it to work when I'm cooking. I mean, I agree with that. I'm just telling I you. I need it to work. Why people might have done that? I need it to work. There's a cute little, this is very cute though. There's a cute little like, wintry snowman stackable mug thing. Look how cute. Oh yeah, they, uh, that's so that today. Very cute, don't you think? Yeah, if you, if you went to Christmas and that kind of stuff, they want you buy, by the way, they want you buying all kinds of stuff right now because of what that, um, the shortage and all that. So they want you buying all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, you know what? Christmas is not for, to get, to have gift anyway. Christmas is about God. It, it's supposed to be the day of, G, of Jesus' birth. So it's why, true, but these are so, still so cute. So okay. why is everybody buying stuff and, oh my God, I'm gonna miss Christmas. You're not Look gonna miss Christmas. Gingerbread. You are not. Salt and pepper. That. You don't think that's so cute, mommy? I would never buy that. I would totally buy that. You see, that's what I'm talking about. It's the age difference. These are things you would buy when you're younger, and not necessarily when you get older. Do you say I wanna, I'm, I wanna have one of those? You know. It would be so cute to put out for the holidays. My girlfriend was, talk, we were talking about the stuff she bought when she first bought a house, 
And she said she don't want none of that stuff now. <laughs> Hobby Lobby and I want all this stuff in my house and uh-uh. Nobody wants none of that. Those are what, what I call dust catchers. I don't want no dust catchers. So uh-uh, no. And Perry and I, we keep talking about carpet versus um, carpet versus uh, hardwood floors. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'll let this finish cooking. I'm gonna tell you right now, hardwood floors every day. <laughs> I do not want carpet. Do you want like at least in your bedroom? No, I don't want carpet in my bedroom. Mm -mm. I don't want whole floor. That's okay. I got slippers. I put my slippers on. My slippers are right by my by my bed, and I put my slippers on when I get out of the bed. Wow. All the time. We so can have hardwood with the radiant heat underneath. Hardwood? I, I thought they only did that with tile. I thought they only. I thought they could do radiant heat underneath. Really? I thought so. See, Sharita, Sharita wants hardwood with radiant heat. Okay, so guys, in your dream house, what do you want in it and why? Well, I feel like carpet. That's my question. Uh-huh. Would you like carpet a little bit? At least in the mm. bedroom. Nope, I don't want no carpet. First of all, and and and, and, it, and it's, you get allergies from that. I do it bothers allergies. you. It bothers your allergies. I'm like, I don't want nobody's carpet at all. And, it's, and it keeps all the dirt in it. Oh, no, I don't want no carpet. There might be carpet upstairs. I have hardwood floors all over, but I could use a few flood. Oh, she wants, a uh, Rosebud says she can use a, a few throw rocks. Yeah, those get tangly, you trip on them. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking about, I don't want carpet, period. But I was thinking if you put the throw rugs on there, then you gotta make sure they stay down because you can't trip on them. And that old people, that's the one thing I don't wanna do. I keep telling y'all, I don't wanna fall. So, wall to wall carpet so I don't slide uh, has, to, has to be a brand new carpet. Yeah, and then you gotta you have change it probably every, within every five years too. Because it, 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 holds, that, it holds all the smells in it. I'm funny like that. I don't, I'm, for, uh, smells, me and smells, and me and my sister, me and my sister Jackie, and my sister Ethel, and probably Francis too. Yo, we don't do, we don't like smells. <laughs> it smells, mm -mm. How are you about smells, Sharita? Well, I don't love smells. Yo, I, I'm, I'm oh. like, no. That Sometimes, smells. Even like, I've noticed, like, that's why you are really supposed to use the last thing you clean it. Mm -hmm. Because what what washing machine cleaner? Like the the actual thing that cleans up. Like when you put the washing machine on the water, you throw the washing machine cleaner. Sometimes mm -hmm. even though your laundry is technically clean, the washing machine has helped disgusting odors, and then everything smells a little like off, just not like fresh. So that, did you did you use it? Did you run the cycle with a washing machine cleaner? All you have to do is run it with like some vinegar. Well, what's that? I guess you could, but. I bought for a long, long time. <laughs> so you, okay. <laughs> Sharita does have that smell thing that we have in the Wilson family. So we, we don't like certain smells like, whoa, mm -mm. we like, we can't help it. We're like, mm, mm, -mm. <laughs> I love vacuuming and I scrub my carpet every other year. It's my therapy. <laughs> Go ahead. I honestly, I used to do that when I had carpet. I used to buy, I had bought me a carpet cleaner. I can clean that carpet better than anybody else could. But I don't, I can't be doing that no more. I would like a ranch style house, no carpet. Both Ronnie and I have allergies. Walk-in closet, open floor plan, pantry. Okay, okay. But see, here's my, here's what, here's for me. I have to, in my kitchen, I must have drawers that open instead of those empty drawers, those empty cabinets, those cabinets with a little shelf way back. I cannot get down on my knees and deal with that. So yeah, and I want a pantry, a large kitchen for me. Yeah, I, I want it bigger. I would like it maybe bigger than this, but 
I like it functionable. I like to, I don't want to have to walk halfway across the room to go do something. I like everything all together, you know, that's for me. You know, and I had a big kitchen one time. It was not functional at all. It was not. I, I, I prayed for I wished for I got it. And I now I'm like, mm, when I lived in an apartment, well, everything was, was nice like much better. It was a big kitchen, but it wasn't. It was really nice to do things and not necessarily cook. It wasn't nice to cook in. No, it was, that kitchen was because not. The kitchen space was like, and didn't even, and it didn't even have a window. You could look out while you, while you were, um, while you were washing dishes. No. I, mean, I liked all the other things in the house. I liked all the little, like, I liked it not being so open. I liked the little drawers. Oh, you, she really don't want open. Like, you know, I like, I like a real you, room. You, you are, you're your Uncle Junior. I like a real room. He don't room. like, he don't like open space. So you don't like this, this really. I mean, it's all right. But I'm you rather. It, like, but like, it's okay. I but you rather it. have closed areas. Yeah. Why? I just feel. That's why you like being downstairs. It's too dark for me. It's too dark for me. Oh, God, it's so dark. oh, it's oh my God! It so is. It's I could so never dark. be down there. I can't be downstairs. She likes dark. She likes things closed in. Oh God, no. Uh, uh. No, no, not for me. Not for me. Not for me. This is gonna be done in about three three seconds. I'm finishing up the other side, yeah, and it's Advil. done. Advil? Yeah. Probably. Where? In the, in the bathroom. Up on the shelf. If you can't reach it, let me know. By, on well, the, behind, it because it's behind. It should be um behind the um uh, behind the toilet seat. Behind the toilet. Up on up up that high shelf over there. Should be over there. She. She's got cramps. She don't feel good today. So, you know, so again, I, I was blessed not to have no too many cramps either. <laughs> God blessed me because I didn't have to. I, it's like I, my period came and went. Now real big because I have a knee replacement. Because I need, because I need it. I'm, <laughs> listen, I hear you. Because if I can tell you right now that my knees are talking to me. They are talking to me. I had to get up on the on the ladder to get something, and it's like the bending right now is killing me. I didn't be right, right. Actually, on the inside of my knee, it's like, oh, God. It's like that's why I know it's enough. You know, I would be. It would be nice if the cabinets could be lower than standard height. I'm very sure. <laughs> I agree with that. 120 for that. Yeah, the climbing up, the climb. These, these you got to climb up here. To get, but this that's what it's a, it's a small kitchen, so you need to have as much space as you can get. But yeah, you have to climb up to get to stuff. So you found it, okay? So yeah, that, that's that's. It wasn't that high. Oh, it wasn't. I thought it was on on the, it was like right in, in on the first right show. Now, on the second show, but on yeah. but but in the front. Right in the front. Yeah, Perry. I don't. I hardly ever. The top was halfway off. I hardly ever. So somebody must have been using it. Perry, maybe. Because Perry doesn't put things back. All right. This is done. Let me turn this off. Come all the way off. That's like still bubbling. Because it's, it's grease. It's done. And this is and this is the way the grease looks. So I... Did see. you eat the acorn? Mm-hmm. The squash? Yeah. Yeah. Well, as an acorn squash, not just the stuffing? Oh, by itself? No. I didn't. I, I, no, I didn't. Why? Uh -huh. What do you think? You didn't like that? I don't know. I mean, I was, I think it was, I think the stuffing was good, but I don't know if it was a true fan of the acorn squash itself. Well, I'll tell you, that was the green acorn squash. Now this one here, I'm going to cook this for you. I had this one. I bought some more of these. This is called, this is an acorn squash, but it's called sweet dumpling. Let me tell you something. That probably would have been better. These are really, really, really good. But it's an acorn squash. It's one of the, it's in the family. And that's the one I made the other, uh, the other day. Um, but this one, I think I, that's the video I have out. And this is the one I use. It's called a sweet dumpling, but it's an acorn squash. These are delicious. 
Delicious. I'm going to make one. I'm going to cut it up and make one for you, Sharita. And this one I put out on butter and brown sugar on it. And huh, so you need. And I'm going to a little brown sugar. And you don't even need the brown sugar on that one. The other one, the, um, butternut, the butternut squash, maybe, yeah. But that, I have no clue what to do with squash. Uh, Joy, I got a video coming out um, in, in two weeks. So you'll see how I roasted it. But I roasted that one, and I roasted the butternut. You can just roast them things. You, that's what you do. You put them in, and you roast them. And if you, if you use... Um, like a little butter and a little sugar, it's delicious. It's absolutely a little brown sugar. It's so good. So do you think I, we should do a virtual game night? Should we want to know? Should we do a virtual game night? Maybe we had fun with that last time. Yeah. We'll see. It's a lot of work. Should we? <laughs> so you want just people to come over and just play regular and play regular games? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, next year when you own it, next year. Uh, I will look for it. Sounds good. It's coming out in like two weeks. I just, I just, um, I just uh, uh, edited it and put it, and put it up yesterday. So I think it's coming out on the 11th. So that Thursday 11th, it should be out. So yeah, but I think they're good. I think they're good. First time I made it, I was like, oh my god, so good. Then I, I had it when I got home from work. It was oh, delicious, absolutely delicious. But. I think it's time. Let me let me take my let me take the uh, the potatoes, the scalloped potatoes out the oven. I'll show you guys what they look like. And oh yeah, it's a done, done, round, round. Ugh. Come on over. These are my scalloped potatoes. Of course, they, of course they cook longer, but these are my scalloped potatoes over here. Oh, it's hot. Whoa. That's hot. Wow. Let me turn this off. First of all, you are going off. Cause it's hot in here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna scoop some out, let you guys see what this looks like. You might want to, it's piping hot, Shavita. You might want to taste it, but it's piping hot. Piping, piping hot. Let's see here. I'm gonna move again and I gotta remember where, where my stuff is. Huh. That's a whole other thing. Remember what you, where your stuff is. Nice and crunchy. Nice and crunchy. And tender. Okay. Here we go. That is my scalloped potatoes, and they are, the cheese is all crunchy on there right now. But this is my scalloped potatoes. Are you, are you, she's looking. Do you want some? You want to try it? I thought it needed more salt yesterday, but it always needs everything. I thought it needed, and Perry thought it needed more salt too, but you could always put some more salt on there. Here. So when no you see, here, no bacon, no bacon. That's what ruins the salt content. Oh, that's good. Like you could have put bacon, but no bacon. I can't wait for the squash. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out. I'm gonna make those, the three, I have some more squash in the house, I'm gonna make those, because those things were good. It's, it's, it's hot, hot. It's hot, you like it, but it's hot, hot? Yeah. Okay, Sharita likes, Sharita likes dinner. <laughs> she likes to fry fish, and she likes, and she likes the scalloped potatoes, and I know she likes the cornbread, and I know she'll like the green beans and corn. So that's what dinner is today. Okay. I didn't put so much on there because I didn't want to hear it, but you could always you add it. Pepper, at least. I add some pepper. But Sharita she, she says it needs a little bit of salt, which tells me it really must need a little bit of salt. So, but that's all. But that's a, no big deal because people could put salt and pepper on their food to their liking and no it'd chives. be okay. Huh? No chives? No, I, I should have put chives. I put onions. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I should have put chives in there. I don't know why you need to put that one around. I don't know. I should have caught you. I should have caught you, Rita, and then we would have had more. It would have been chock full of much more stuff. That's But next time we'll do that. Anyway, I had you on for quite a long time. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, but I do appreciate you all coming. So uh, I think we're done for today. Um, and I think we'll be back next week. Oh, God willing. Don't forget to vote, okay? Don't forget to vote. I don't, you know, it's really important to vote. Just go out I there and do it. I just was, you know, going to vote on election day. Just go. My brother wanted us to vote early. Yeah, it's a good thing that if you could to go vote early. Of course, I think today is the last day of yeah. early voting. Yeah, I'm just checking to see if we can still make it. But, but you know, you y'all, you need to go vote. Go and vote, period. And this, I think these are the more the elections you need to be voting in instead of, um, um, yeah, I, I voted already. Thank you, Joy. But everybody should go and so, vote. Well, they're voting for. The, the other election, other than presidential and governor, you need to go vote. Here, they're voting for, um, what do you call it? The, um, Back to packing, ladies. Okay, Pat, let me know how this goes. <laughs> let me know how this goes, because I'm going to be packing with you. I got to figure all that stuff out. So, I it. it's already over. so yeah. anyway, we got to go. Thank you, guys. And I'll be talking to y'all soon. Are voting for, that's what I meant to say. That most places are voting for like your local judges, sheriffs, mayors, etc. So those are the people who make your local laws, which will make it, you know. Yes. You need to vote for people now that deals with your, your local, local laws and your local, and your local and your towns and whatever. Council, yes. You know, that's how like crazy things like what happened in Texas flip in. Yeah. And here, and, and here in New, and here in my where I live, um, they took people just were coming in there and voting against the, the school budget, taking money out of the school budget, and now we the, all the schools closed down because nobody went and vote like they're supposed to go vote and understand what you're voting for. So go out and vote, everybody. Go out and vote. All right, I will talk with you later. Thank you. You voted by mail. Good. A month ago. Now I went and did it myself today though. I did it on, I did a couple weeks ago when it first started, first day. So I did it. So I'm good. All right, guys. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be good. Bye-bye.